Royal Navy ship from Portsmouth has just undertaken a mission on one of the most remote islands on the planet, made famous by the mutiny on the bounty. The crew of HMS Tamar detonated dangerous unexploded devices on Pitcairn in the Pacific Ocean, where the mutineers from the bounty settled in the 18th century, some 235 years later, the island. At 2.8 square miles it's roughly the same size as Lundy or Lindisfarne, remains inhabited by the descendants of Bounty's crew and is a wildlife haven. The 40 islanders are determined to protect. A Royal Navy ship from Portsmouth has just undertaken a mission on one of the most remote islands on the planet, made famous by the mutiny on the bounty. The crew of HMS Tamar detonated dangerous unexploded devices on Pitcairn in the Pacific Ocean, where the mutineers from the bounty settled in the 18th century, some 235 years later. The island, at 2.8 square miles it's roughly the same size as Lundy or Lindisfarne, remains inhabited by the descendants of Bounty's crew and is a wildlife haven the 40 islanders are determined to protect, Pitcairn lies 1,350 miles from Tahiti more than 3,000 miles from New Zealand and 9,000 miles from Tamar's home base of Portsmouth but is a UK overseas territory with a governor based in Wellington, New Zealand. Dot of the four islands. Pitcairn is the only inhabited island and has recently opened a marine science base to investigate the impact of climate change and the health of marine biodiversity in what is one of the last remaining fully intact marine ecosystems left on the planet. The arrival of HMS Tamar effectively doubled the Pitcairn population overnight and the sailors immediately knuckled down to community tasks in and around the sole settlement, Adamstown. Tamar embarked two experts from the Royal Navy's Portsmouth-based Diving and Threat Exploitation Group to deal with decades-old explosives. They found more than 1,100 detonators and over 3 kilometers of detonating cord, left. Over from construction of the island's small harbor in the 1970s, which was in a dangerous state and needed disposing, that was carried out with controlled explosions in a sheltered bay, the explosive experts also found around 3.5 tons of high-explosive ammonium nitrate fuel oil, once used during quarrying mining operations on Pitcairn. A specialist team will return to the island in due course to render it safe elsewhere. Sailors helped provide muscle to help with the ongoing construction of Pitcairn's new community center, offered advice on maritime infrastructure and the boats used to ferry stores between visiting supply ships and the harbor. The islanders were immensely grateful for the support we provided, whether it be advice on their maritime infrastructure, outreach support for the development of their community center, or ordnance disposal, said officer of the watch Lieutenant Leo Jun.